guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading for the zodiac sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is going to be for the first half of your October from the 1st to the 15th. Uh, we are going to take a look at your over energies, uh, what's surrounding you guys, regarding love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you. And we'll finish off the read with the possible outcome and advice. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Um, share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonated. Those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. Alright, so let's get started. Over energies for Cancer. What is surrounding Cancer regarding love and the person that they are connecting with? For the first half of October, from the 1st to the 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer regarding love and the person that they are connecting with. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So maybe you have this uh, in your chart or you uh, your person that you're dealing with might have this in your chart. So I don't know. Someone here could have walked away to work on themselves, perhaps to protect their energy. So let's see what's going on. All right, the sun, Leo energy. So you might have Leo in your chart. Could be dealing with someone that has Leo in their chart. We have the two of swords. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Maybe you're dealing with another Cancer or Water sign here. Uh, Scorpio and Pisces. We have the Lovers, Gemini, Energy. You guys, feel free to switch the roles if you want. The roles could be flipped or reversed and apply this to your own unique situation. I know this is love focus, but you could apply it to any relationship that you want. With a friend, family member, coworker. We have the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Energy, and we have the Ace of Wands here. I mean, we have someone here that walked away that went and wants to protect their energy. But I feel like someone here is coming towards you, coming towards you trying to make an offer. And whatever offer that they're making, this offer might confuse you. Because at one point, maybe this person only wanted you for sex. Uh, but it seems like someone here is coming in to make some sort of offer towards you in having some sort of relationship. This also could be a new thing here. This could be a new relationship. All right, let's see. Why is the sun here? Why is the sun card here? Why is the sun card here? Sun in the Ten of Wands, okay. Why is this Two of Swords here? Six of Wands. Knight of Cups in the World. Why is this lovers here? The lovers in the two of cups. We have the two of cups. So this is a strong soul tie. It seems like maybe someone here left and now someone here is coming back. Why is this uh, king of swords here? King of swords and the three of pentacles. Why is this ace of wands here? Ace of Wands and the King of Wands. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Could be dealing with someone that has those placements in their chart. You could have those placements in their chart. We have the Knight of Swords. So someone here is rushing in. 
We have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy rushing in for a reunion here. Uh, so what's ha what I'm feeling is I feel like someone here went to work on themselves. And I feel like this person could have gone through some personal spiritual growth. And now after they've done their work, I feel like someone here is coming back. Trying to maybe perhaps get back with someone here. So I feel as though whoever does come back, I feel like someone here is going to be confused to why this person is coming back. This person also could be coming back pretending like nothing, is ha nothing has happened. So you could, like I said, you could feel free to switch the roles if you want, uh, Cancer. The roles could be flipped or, and, or reversed. So uh, tell me about the Cancer. Tell me about the person that Cancer is dealing with here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. For the first half of October, from the 1st to the 15th. Okay, Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Pre-Empress Energy. Could be dealing with the Virgo here. We have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I mean, someone could be coming back towards someone, but I feel like we have someone here that feels better off on their own right now. I mean, we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups. These are... For me, both sync like these cards represent someone who's single. Uh, we have the Ten of Wands here. We have the Page of Swords. So I feel like we have a masculine energy that is spying on someone here, that is watching someone to see if someone here is currently single or to see if someone here has moved on. Um, we have someone here that's trying to bring this connection back together. I feel like someone here is going to be extremely confused. I do feel like someone here is trying to come back. So someone here left. You know, someone here at some point probably was not ready to be in a relationship. Maybe they had a lot of healing to do because we have that Ten of Wands here in the sun. Perhaps at some point when you were dealing with this person, this person was not happy. We have the Two of Swords here again. And the Three of Swords. You know, I feel like there's this energy of this feminine energy sort of saying, you know, I thought, you know, things were over. I'm kind of confused to why you're here or why you're returning. Um, let's see what else we have for you here, Cancer. Tell me about this Virgo. Uh, tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. Oh. in the Hierophant, Taurus energy. I mean, we have someone here that has gone through, since the separation, I feel like this pre empress energy has sort of wised up. Uh, why is this uh, Ten of Wands here? Um, so this pre empress energy might be someone that does energy work themselves. Maybe this person's a Reiki healer or a shaman or a tarot reader or a psychic or, you know, someone that... You know, people turn to you for uh, spiritual advice. Why is this Ten of Wands here? Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. You know, I feel like this person got over the betrayal or got over being left a long time ago. Or, you know, got off, got over the pain uh, of being uh, with someone who was in pain. Uh, why is this Page of Swords here? Page of Swords and Ace of Swords. We, we're ha we have someone here that really wants to talk. And I feel like we have someone that's really confused about that. Why is the Lovers here? The Lovers and the Three of Wands. I mean, we have someone here that is planning a future here with someone. This King is trying to plan a future here with this Pre-Empress Energy. Someone here is trying to communicate. Someone is communicating. 
So this pre-upper synergy, you know, might be scratching their head like, you know, what do I do? Should I respond? I'm confused. Two of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Why is it Three of Swords here? Three of Swords and the Death card, Scorpio energy. Justice card here, Libra energy. Could be dealing with the Libra. I mean, we have someone here that is wanting to come in to offer a solid new beginning here. Perhaps commitment, perhaps marriage. I do feel like someone here is confused because someone here is just really good being in this Nine of Cups and this Nine of Pentacles energy. And I feel like someone here is just kind of like really good, just confused as to why this person's coming back. I mean, this person could have said something like, you know, I don't want to be with you. You know, I'm not ready. I feel like things ended very harsh, harshly. And, and, and through this time of separation, I feel like maybe this free emperor seventh energy was in this energy of like sort of thinking that this masculine is not going to take the time to work on themselves to change. But I feel like that's what this masculine did. All right, outcome and advice here for Cancer regarding their love situation. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the first half of October from the 1st to the 15th. swords here so libra aquarius gemini energy so could be dealing so someone here could have some air in their chart or that you could be dealing with the libra aquarius gemini we have the lovers showing up again three times here you know i feel like with the lovers showing up a couple of times it could also mean that you know someone here is looking for new opportunities and love somewhere else Right, Eight of Pentacles. I just feel like this queen is sort of focusing on themselves. Yeah, Three of Pentacles, focusing on work here. We have the Strength card, Leo Energy. So Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the Strength card, and the Nine of Cups. I just feel like someone here is in this energy of really loving themselves here. Yeah, perhaps this person is in this energy of maybe searching for love somewhere else or that this person might be in another relationship. So this queen might be in another relationship or, or slash pre-empress energy. Um, it seems like someone here is just happy on their own uh, or happy in another relationship. Um, why is this queen of swords here? It's sort of this energy of you had your chance and I have to move on sort of thing. Why is this queen of swords here? Why is this Queen of Swords here? Why is this Queen of Swords here? Queen of Swords and Temperance, Sagittarius energy, Scorpio energy. That's just Sagittarius, I'm sorry. Uh, why is the Lovers here? I mean, someone here is in this like blissful state, this peaceful state. So I feel like this masculine is going to try and win this queen back, but I just feel like this queen is just really better off perhaps on their own, or if this queen is in a new relationship, if this queen is just going to stay in it. Why is this Eight of Pentacles here? The Eight of Pentacles in the Judgment card, Sagittarius energy and Scorpio energy here. Why is this Three of Pentacles here? Three of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Even if it was a situation where this king is coming back to be friends with this feminine, I feel like this feminine feminine feels like it's going to be a lot of work. And I feel like this feminine doesn't want to put energy towards that. This person rather put energy towards themselves or what's currently making them happy. Why is a strength card here? 
Strength card and Eight of Swords. And why is this Nine of Swords here? Nine of Swords and the Two of Swords. Yeah, this person's come. So this Queen is completely confused as to why this King is coming back. Oh, I just noticed we have a pair here. The King to the Queen of Swords. So this is a soul tie. I mean, this Queen, this pre-Empress energy might have met another soulmate. It seems like it's an energy that uh, that this queen or this pre-empress energy feels that they're free from this person, free from this king. You know, whatever hurt, whatever pain that this pre-empress energy went through, this queen went through, I feel like this person, really, this really changed their feelings towards this king. We have the King of Swords here too. I mean, this King is, it could be an energy also where perhaps the hurt and the pain comes from this person maybe going to jail or prison. Maybe this person committed some sort of crime with this Justice card here. So, um, yeah, it seems like this person might have went away, perhaps. So, um, Cancer, I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.